Brexit. Thank you. That's sorry for Brexit, although I think the term has been changed to Brexmas now. A word which has caused politicians the most troublesome of troubles that they have faced. A process which some deem to be beneficial to the UK and some deem is not best for Britain. On the 23rd of June 2016, the people of the UK were given a vote on whether they would like to remain part of the EU or whether they would like to leave. After much campaigning by well-known politicians and individuals by the current Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Nigel Farage and Tommy Robinson, the UK saw one of the closest votes they have seen in recent years. The final results saw that 51.9% of people voted to leave the EU and after this the story of the Brexit process began. Brexit has caused many politicians to suffer, where many ministers and politicians have resigned, including two Prime Ministers in David Cameron and Theresa May. During the election campaign, the Brexiteers promised the people of the UK that if they left the European Union, they would have more money for the NHS, I think it's about 100 million per year, and that there would be less immigration at borders. However, after discussion in Parliament over the following months, it was clear that these promises were all fake news. The UK was initially due to leave the UK on the 29th of March this year. However, Theresa May was forced to ask for an extension by the two Donald Trust, and an extension was given to October the 31st. After that, it was clear that Theresa May was confident that she couldn't deliver a good Brexit and she handed the role to the current Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson was fixed on the idea that he wanted to deliver Brexit on the October 31st and he even said that he would rather be dead in a ditch if he didn't deliver Brexit on that day. Um, it's been three years since the referendum and it's coming up to four and people are now beginning to understand the impact that Brexit will have on the UK and I wanted to discuss some of these. I'm a business and economic student for it so we've been debating this in class as well. A no deal Brexit means that the UK will no longer be a member of the EU and it would have no trade agreement. It would eliminate Britain's tariff-free trade status with the EU members. Tariffs would raise the cost of exports. This, that would hurt exporters as their goods become high priced in Europe. Some of that pain would be offset by weak harm. Imagine some of the goods that we buy today. Imagine are you willing and able to pay a higher price for them if Brexit happens. Tariffs would also increase prices of imports into the UK. One third of its food comes from the EU. Tariffs are as high as 74% for tobacco, 22% for orange juice, and 10% for cars and vehicles. Higher import prices would create inflation and lower the standard of living for the UK residents. A hard border would require all imports to go through customs. Delay at the border could create food shortages, and that's something that UK cannot afford to have. The UK is vulnerable because heat waves and droughts by other, by other countries caused by global warming have already reduced local food problems. One of the reasons Brexit has delayed is because politicians haven't been able to agree about the island debate. Now, the UK, the island is split into two sections. There's Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. When Brexit happens, the Northern Ireland will leave the EU with the UK and the Republic of Ireland will remain with the, UK, uh, with the EU. Now, the debate that politicians have had is that if there is a no-deal Brexit, then there will be a hard border between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, and that would create an issue with trade and free travel for uh, civilians living in Ireland, as they will have to go through tougher borders and immigration. As far as I'm stood in Brexit, I think that if the, whoever the next Prime Minister is, if they can get a good enough deal for uh, the EU and create a sufficient deal that will not shatter our economy, I think that they will do. Otherwise, I think it's better for us to remain. Thank you.